So moisture density relationship more commonly referred to as a proctor. Why is a proctor important? It's because it will tell us um, at what moisture content the soil can achieve its maximum density when, me when mechanically compacted. So when you are on a construction site and you see the little guy on this machine that has a big giant roller on the front of it, okay, that roller might be a smooth drum roller or it might be a sheep's foot roller that has little prongs on it. They are compacting some type of material. Our field technician will use our laboratory data from this test and go out and test that compacted material. So the proctor um, involves compacting soil in a mold and then we determine the soil's density because uh, we know the, the mold volume, we know how much soil is in there. So we determine density or unit weight. Those terms are used interchangeably in this industry. They don't, they're not technically the same, but they're used as, you know, interchangeably. And we also determine the moisture content. So what we will take a soil and we'll, we'll compact it at different moisture contents and this produces a curve known as the moisture density relationship. Okay, so the top of the curve, the peak of the curve is known as the maximum dry density. And at that peak, we'll know what the moisture content is. And those two pieces of information um, are, are critical during a construction project. So the technician will know what material to test and, and they'll know what it needs to be compacted to and how much water needs to be in there. You know, all that information has to be kind of relayed to the contractor because the contractor is not going to go out there and test his own moisture content. So it's, it's important to have testing in this process.